No matter what you look like or what your culture or religion is, all of Halton District School Board is invited to participate in this competition. Um, today we've got the 31st annual Halton Skills Competition. So we've got over 700 students today participating in various activities in the skilled trades and technologies, showcasing uh, their skills and talents. We've actually got 14 contests um, for, again, for the junior and intermediate students, ranging from TV and video production. We've got uh, various robotics tournaments. We've got character animation. Um, and then we have a lot of um, building type skills uh, going on, so small scale construction, framing small houses, um, to building various machines to make things go. And having a great day engaging with their friends and learning. I enjoy robotics because it's really fun. I get to be with my friends and other people from my school and we get to work together to build something that in the end we get to use at a competition with other schools, which is really fun seeing all our hard work and then it actually doing something. It helps with creativity and it's also pretty much the future because we have to work with autonomy and coding. Okay, I have the code ready for when it oh. 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 No. I feel like doing robotics, it has a lot to do with trial and error and like recovering from your mistakes and all that. And I think that's really beneficial to like applying it in the real world. It's an art form that kind of combines a lot of things like the visual, the text, the audios, everything just combined together and to convey this uh, one video that can actually convey uh, messages to, uh, conv uh, to influence people's emotions and also to maybe potentially change their lives and that's what I like to do. We always encourage our educators to try something different and we've been doing a lot of capacity building in our teachers, especially over the last year because we've had such a high turnover in educators over the last four years um, that we're definitely not back where we were pre-COVID levels in terms of teacher capacity um, in our buildings, but we're, we're starting to really pick up the pace and, and get back to those pre-COVID levels. Um, and again, it's evidence today with all the laughter and fun that you can hear going on because this is incredible engagement and if we can have our kids learning and engaging with science and technology in this way, we're going to have no problem bringing those kids up into our high school programs and out to college and university.